being world champion. Of course, that's every rally driver dream. I am a perfectionist. You want to win, and that's part of our DNA, I think. I am competitive, definitely. Hello. Let's talk about Sasks now. From scorching Rally Sardinia on the Mediterranean, we've returned to mainland Europe for two back-to-back, -back lightning-quick gravel rallies in Poland and Latvia. Poland is um, an interesting event. Right, Yari, we're going to go and relive something. <laughs> Am I here? <laughs> yeah. And I'm so afraid that I have to stay. <laughs> it's a very different challenge to what we've seen so far this season. It's a gravel Grand Prix. It's absolutely flat out. The average speed here will be 130 kilometers an hour. Average. It's pretty quick. And you're not on a motorway. You're in the forest. It's a big day for M Sport. There's a new kid on the block, making his Rally One debut in the Ford Puma. It's the talented 24 year old Latvian Martin Sesks. I'm Martin Sesks. I'm a new driver with M Sport Ford World Rally team. From outside, I could be looking calm, but like inside me, it's like everything is boiling. I'm third generation driver. I started driving from age of 14. My first race in the go-karts was age of seven. It's in our blood, in, in our family. Air sports is the place where you come as a young driver. And to be part of this is, is just unbelievable. Malcolm has had a philosophy for the last 20 years of giving younger drivers opportunities at the top level, and that's where we've actually found a lot of our most successful drivers. This weekend, we've got the opportunity to give this uh, young Latvian up-and-coming talent an opportunity to drive these top-level cars. He's going to make his debut here, building up to his home event in Latvia, so only two events. It's hard to know how he'll do. Uh, it's very hard to jump into this very top level. Ultimately, if a new driver comes in, right, jumps in the car and starts matching your times or worse, beating you, then suddenly you become vulnerable. All of that gets into your head. Gregoire and Adrian will certainly not want to be shown up by Martin Sesks. It is cutthroat world. If you're not going to perform well, someone's and outperform you. There's M Sport's new talent, Martin Sesks. He's absolutely on it. This is a great effort from our young Latvian here, keeping up with the best and really outperforming all expectations of him. He's going to have a big smile on his face when Molly tells him, you just got second quickest, my man. Martins, good morning. That is second quickest, just three tenths off the pace. Unbelievable. <laughs> What? Yep. Okay. <laughs> That's it for the interview. Why? Why? Why so fast, huh? Were you taking it easy? Yeah. You, you, you know there's this, uh, this main video in the UK. Why are you coming so fast? Why are you coming fucking fast? <laughs> it's... All right. I have to think now. What are you going to think about? I don't know. <laughs> Thank you. Here we are, end of day one. The Hyundai of Mickelson leads the pack, closely followed by Robin Pera and Evans in the Toyotas. Adrian Formo is in fourth, but the big upset or surprise of the weekend is Martin Sesks, who has really announced himself on the Rally One scene. The best spot is over there, off to the top. 
<laughs> These guys were following me when I was a rally driver, and now they follow my son. Now it will be Greg. So much dust, you don't see a lot, but it was looking good. I take some yeah. videos and then I send to him. Just, you know, advice that I give. I'm proud, of course. <laughs> who, who wouldn't be as a father? <laughs> yeah, I'm really proud. Being a Rally One driver, it's something I want to do for the rest of my life. I just wanted to be like my father, but there is a lot of competition and there is so few opportunities in WRC. The, the harsh truth is that uh, you need to push a bit harder, but it's not always easy. That was Adrian, that was really fast. With Adrian, we are teammates, but at the end of the day, if you want to be a rally one driver and secure your spot. You know, Adrian and um, Greg, they are good friends, but, uh, you know, I don't think they are going on holiday together because they are still competitors. We have half of the experience, less than half of the experience of Fumo in, in WRC rallies. So it's, it's normal, you have to catch up, it needs time. It's been a really positive weekend, hasn't it, for M Sport? They had all three of the cars running in the top six. Yeah, that's amazing. Sesks is a real cat amongst the pigeons here, isn't he? And I think that extra competition has really spurred Adrian and, and Gregoire on. What have you made of uh, Munster and what's his next step, would you say? The one thing I've been impressed with with Gregoire is he hasn't been throwing it off the road, but he's still got a lot to learn to be running at the pace of his teammates. And so we really need to see him take a massive step forward when we go to Latvia. So it's a seventh place finish at the moment, at least. Martin Sesks. Remember, this is his Rally 1 debut, but he is remarkably quick. Martins has jumped in this car with one day's testing, and he's got on with the job. The next time we see him, we'll be in Latvia, his home event. That is a top five finish for Martin Sesks. Can you tell us how excited we should be for Rally Latvia? Very, I think. What a show by Martins. But Adrian Formo remains top dog at M Sport. And he's currently on for a podium finish. Yeah, third podium of the year. Uh, and third podium ever, actually, in fact, for uh, Formo. He's a genuine contender now, and that's been earned and deserved. <laughs> Great result for them. Great to see them back on the podium as well. well done, <laughs> Yes. All right. Well done, mate. Never give up, that's for you. Fucking wet. For the chip. Drink it. Drink it. Yeah. This warm. Taste of avian sweat. Oh, yeah. Proper good weekend. Yeah. No, it's a really, really solid result, I think. I would say probably maybe even your best one. Yeah, that's my best one. <laughs> but it's more intense, you're like, okay, I'm going to jump, but I still want some points. <laughs> <laughs> We are in Latvia, the next phase of the WRC Summer of Speed. We stay on rapid gravel. We're lucky this weekend that we've got Martins driving with us, you know, having a local person representing his home country in top category car. It's always a really nice experience to be involved with. You always get a lot of support. You can hear what they, you know, what they think of him. I wish everyone the best for before Rally yeah. Stars, but Thank especially you. for you, Thank you. I wish you, Thank you the mega best. It's our home event now. I would lie if it's a little added extra pressure. It's a lot. How's Gavin? How am I? I'm all right. He said you're good, so he must be lying. <laughs> What's your plan for the race? Nothing. Just see where you go. Yeah, nothing. I, I don't want to make any expectations. Of course, you have maybe a little of local knowledge. Just do your own thing. I think I'm a bit already feeling like I'm a part of the team. And with Gav, it's, it's really nice. 
Oh, he's some boy, like, he is some boy. I would say he's on par with Adrian for his charisma and, and the way he is. It's stage three of the rally, and we've got videos from the rally TV. So we use the, the video from the rally two cars to fine tune our pace notes. We have less experience than the others. So we try to cheat by using their videos to, to, to get knowledge of the stage, to understand the stage. And the videos really help us. I'm just watching them. When you are in the team, you want to be the faster. You want to beat your teammates because you have the same tools, you have the same team, you have everything the same. Here against Martin, well, it is their garden, so it's going to be difficult against them, but we never know uh, because we prepare well. We'll be pleased to have a fight with him. It's going to be, it's going to be nice. What's the aim? For you, send it. Podium, surely, then. <laughs> you get to you, so huh? <laughs> well, the expectation is going up now. It's your own fault. Podium for you. Greg Wise, same again as in Poland. And Martins is going for a... Probably so either. No, I think that's a bit hard. He's going for another consistent, committed drive. That's why. Then he's going to be the victor. <laughs> Now we are Rally Latvia, the debut into WRC. Here we go. We have Edrian Formo here. The Frenchman is not going to like being behind Sesks. He's got to regroup, focus on his own rally. Now let's join Martins and Renards, shall we? Because they are setting pace. Right now they're in their own little bubble in that car. Martins just concentrating on Renards, calling the notes, making sure he doesn't make any mistakes out there. Hopefully enjoying it. It's like a holy trinity. You have you, your co-driver and your car, and everyone has to be 100%. If one of these trinity points are, are not 100%, you're not winning the stage, you're not winning the rally. Could it be a remarkable feat that we see Martin Sesk score his first WRC stage win at home in Latvia this early on in the rally? It's the countdown to Robin Perez, fastest time on the board. What is it going to be? It is going to be the fastest time on the board for Martins Sesks. His second WRC event in a Rally One car. He is rallying at home and he takes the Tukum's stage win. Wow, that is quite incredible. Martin Sesks. That is your first WRC stage win, and you've done it on home soil. How do you feel about that? Bloody hell. Hey. It's game on, though, now. You've got the uh, two-time world champion just a couple of seconds ahead of you on home soil. I'm not going to big you up, but it's coming. <laughs> it's stage four, and we're with Gregoire Munster now. Big season for Gregoire. Yeah, and these, these fast gravels can be a baptism of fire for new drivers, especially if their confidence isn't quite there. Gregoire's just not committing in the way that he needs to, is he? Now, quick update on Formo. Seventh is where he's at right now. Bit of a mixed morning from Formo. But his new teammate, Martin Sesk, is absolutely on fire. <laughs> Wow, that is a second stage win for Martin Sesks this morning. It's not gone your way this morning, Adrian. And you seem to have been maybe a little frustrated out there. Why is that? I, I give sometimes some uh, some info to my uh, to my teammates, but that I don't really get from them. So, so I'm going to change a little bit. Okay, who are we talking about in particular there? Uh, Martins? Uh, yeah, a little bit more. So he's got a lot of local knowledge and you, yes. you would like and him would, to share? Yeah, exactly, but it's okay. It's part of the game. Do you need to go and have a quiet word with him now? For me, it's just about the result and uh, the performance you have. It's not about the, the 
fans cheering for you, but for sure it's a, it's a nice extra. It's, a, it's going well for him. Uh, hopefully he can carry on till the finish with that pace. At first we are, we are just enjoying being here and uh, yeah, the, the home crowd, you see how, how passionate they are and uh, yeah, it's, it, it's emotional sometimes, to be honest, but, but we still get long three days. Couldn't have asked for any more, two fastest stage times, um, very happy. Young drivers, why do I get them? <sighs> Probably because I treat them as a normal person rather than somebody that we bow down to. Not bad for a part-time driver. Huh. <laughs> <laughs> I have a British nurse. Nah, 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 nah. It's all down to driver. Uh. Martin's has got a great talent. You know when you've got something special. It's just whether he can take it to the next level. A lot of pressure on the kid. I'll we'll stick with the tire plan. Yeah. Yeah. OK. I haven't had much of a chance to speak to Greg yet. I think his focus at the moment is on his pace notes and um, what, he's got to, what he's kind of got to do in his, in his head. We are not completely off the pace, but we are not in the front as well, so we struggle a bit to know where we lose time and where we could gain, but uh, we, we work on it. We don't, we don't give up at all, that's for sure. Adrian Formo, he wanted to pass two positions this afternoon, so he is staying true to his word here. This is an exceptional run from Formo. Yeah, Adrian's certainly got a bee under his bonnet, hasn't he? He's properly pulled his socks up. But it's not going to be enough to catch Sesks. Final sector now for Martins. Sesks has had the first full day of competition. At home in Latvia, he's taken his first stage win and then followed it up immediately with another. 6.8 seconds off the pace there. It is second position overall at the end of the day. Robin Pera, Sesks, Ogier. special and uh, and of course here sitting uh, after the first day between two world champions it's it's amazing that's a pretty nice place to be really isn't yeah, it sandwiched in between two world champions don't let that get to you it depends how to get on with this car and then see the yeah. and he has a little bit of local knowledge knows how the roads are ah, yeah. right i need to go and meet yeah i need to do this yeah yeah do that. I've had a chat with Martins and you never really know what to say because you know he's he's got two stage wins to his name, which is more than more than a lot of um, regular WRC drivers have um, at his home rally, second overall at his home rally in front of his home fans. It's just it's just mega. You know, you know when you when these type of opportunities come along, they land on your desk, and we've discovered a, a new future talent in Martins. Home town hero. A lot of pressure on me, a lot of pressure on him. Um, press, media are putting a lot of pressure on him. And he's coping really well. He's got it. He's got it. He can do it. All right, Mister. Yes, good luck. And send us a message after the first one. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Thanks, Dan. Here he is then, man of the moment. It's an iconic stage, it, it feels, in this part of the world, this one. Oh, it's a mega stretch of road for any rally driver. This is like 
a dream stretch of road to send a rally car down. He's a man on a mission. Gritting his teeth. That's definitely not in launch mode. <laughs> <laughs> that scares the shit out of me, that camera. <laughs> now, I had this opportunity to drive for World Rally Team. To be part of this is, is just unbelievable for myself. You look at those guys, you're like, oh, God, they're, they're so big, they're like another level. But we are one of them when we're driving the Rally One car. Well, he is absolutely living the dream. Lots of family and friends in this stage watching him as well. You can just hear the support in the background, can't you? Air horns and whistles. Come on. That is a stunning view, isn't it? Yeah, it's beautiful. Sesk is losing time, though. He's down to third. Sebastian O'Shea has taken second place. Yeah, this is a little bit of a dip, isn't it, in uh, the pace of Sesk we're seeing in here? Oh. He just needs to drive his own race. If you start getting into the battle with the other guys, then you start doing stupid things. Um, I make mistakes. This is actually a tricky stage, and that right there is, is a good example as to why that blind crest over the sharp left makes it a real test for the drivers. It's easy to make a mistake here. Whoa, Lappy just overcooking it ever so slightly. Martins Sesks just about managing to keep it all together. Let's see That's how uh, Greg Wall Munster deals with it. Yeah, you can't help but feel that having this young Latvian upstaging him in these conditions is probably unsettling Gregoire a bit. Oh! OK, so we were way more off to the right-hand side. We've just taken off the, uh, the front wheel arch. Tough day, really. Yeah. Uh, okay. Uh, I mean, can it can it be bad? What's happening now? Uh, it, it's not great. But it's gonna. Yeah. What do you mean? It's not great. It's gonna last through tomorrow. We're always looking for drivers to get around the rallies with no issues, but have good results, and that's not easy. They're all competitive and. They know deep down they're all trying to prove their worth and their, their reasonings for being in these top seats. You know, here with a driver coming in for only a very small number of events and just enjoying himself and ending up with great results is, is great for the team, but sadly for Greg, a, a distraction he probably doesn't want. Hello. You all right? Tough day? Yeah, I'm struggling. Any ideas? Base notes are all okay, like the... They don't don't manage to stay in their lines and they're almost always like wider and then into the boot stuff. And... You just need to try harder. Easier said than done. I'm sure it's not not like you're not trying. I don't know where he is. Yeah, that'd be nice. I think the relationship with every driver is going to be a little bit different. Everyone's got their kind of different characters, different quirks. I want to be one of the best engineers in the world. And similarly, if a driver wants to be one of the best drivers in the world, they need to work just as hard. Very few people get the opportunity to be in the position that Greg's in, and he needs to make the most out of it because there's plenty of people who want that seat that he's in, and he's got to try and deliver. You have to be careful with him. He's just, he's not, he's not upset, he's just a bit frustrated. And he was saying that he, he's struggling to keep in the light because maybe he thinks he's driving too straight. Yesterday, he was getting 93 bar of front brake pressure consistently. That's fucking hard. And that's where you really see the difference to Martins then, where he's just got the confidence to just, OK, brake off, straight on, go. It's not easy. 
you know, the one thing I can have a bit of control over is how the people in the team feel. And, you know, everyone's doing their absolute best. And I think when you don't see the times back, people like Joe especially gets um, a little bit de deflated. But that's great to see, because that shows he cares. <laughs> Going into Super Sunday, it's Rob and Pera, followed by Ogier, then Sesks, who is well poised for his first ever podium in Rally 1. And on home soil, all he has to do is keep Tanak at bay, who is breathing down his neck. The podium's there, it's for him. It, it, all we need to do is keep driving the way he's driving. And, yeah, it... it, it it's ours to lose, effectively. Zero to three, you can't have it, you're swallowing it. Right, which way are you doing? You're doing the book? No. Oh, we're doing it. Am I doing it all? Oh, do you want me to be the co driver? Give me the test. <laughs> oh, we get to do the bloke got first. Got You've got to build a man. Right? You've got a head and a half. Right, where's his body? In another bag, you prick. <laughs> Why are they spaced in the lab? I don't know. That's Lego. <laughs> Adrian Formo now then. Four seconds adrift of Evans's time. I remember Adrian Formo sealed fifth position after the city stage last night. 8.4 seconds behind Tanak overall. We've also got Sesks into the stage. Oh, it's a massive jump from Sesks. He did well on the landing there to control that. We are slower than Tanak here. How much? The time is disappearing away here. Oi, Tanak is in striking distance of Sesks going into the final Wolf Power stage. 4.6 seconds is all that separates them. I imagine he's very nervous. You know, dropping eight seconds at Oit is hard. In what is only their second ever event, Martin Sesks and Renard Francis are so close to achieving a first ever podium finish at the top level of World Rally. Could Tanak still spoil the party? Yeah, of course he could. Yari, if you had uh, a gap of 4.8 seconds, who would you least like to be chased by? Oi, Tanak? <laughs> Callie. Callie, okay. Yeah. <laughs> nice team answer. You have to have this natural feeling, natural skill, because that's the one thing you cannot learn. And then, of course, when you have this natural skill, then there's this point of hard work. And then it's to have the right team around you. And then there is just at one point there is luck. <laughs> well, there, that doesn't sound right at all, PK. Uh, drive only, just, isn't it? Just, Looking at that, there's a lot of wheel spin on the front. Ah, uh, look, he can't get the car turned in. Maybe it's a diff issue or something like that. He just can't get the car turned. Either way, it's mechanical and it's heartbreaking. Sadly to say for Latvian fans, there could be heartbreak ahead because the split times are looking horrible for the local hero. I just want to say to Martin Sesks and all the fans and everybody, that young man has been sensational this weekend and motorsport can be so, so cruel, but to watch this after the weekend he's put in, is, is really hard. That is a hard pill to swallow because he does not deserve this. The worst thing you can hear is a mechanical issue. It takes away the fight from everything. It takes away all the hard work that everybody's put in. It comes down to the last 15 kilometers and it all falls apart. And yes, it's part of rallying, it's part of motorsport. It can be very cruel, but it still doesn't make it any easier. The opportunity to stand on the podium yeah. with the best in the world has, has, has gone. Oh, so 
Fuck. Yes. Like you say. No words. Sorry. It happens. It was, I don't know if it's a diff or something, because every time you go on the throttle, it just spins, it's like a clutch order. And I don't know. I'm sorry. It's fucking shite. I hope you'll go for another one then. Yeah, it's quite disappointing right now, if I'm honest. I have no, yeah, I have nothing to say, apart from sorry. Perfect all weekend and then one stage. Everything happens because it, it had to happen. And you never know that maybe some of these misfortunes brings you to some other fortunes, yeah, yeah, in the future. So you, you never know. Here he is. <laughs> That's the after party. Yeah, it's ah. a bit, it's a bit quiet this after party at the minute. Oh yeah. You did all right though. Well done. That's okay. For one position, we missed the podium. How much did you have to pay, Martins? <laughs> <laughs> Nothing. <laughs> what a shame. Yeah, that's really a shame. Anyway, fuck it, we're going to need to do bloody well in Finland now. Yes. Sometimes you get away with it, sometimes you don't. Never seen anything like it. Are you done? Just push my ass for not really a lot. There's Malcolm with his front bumper. It's a big job to do with that. It's all going wrong. If you don't have the performance required, then uh, you don't have the seat next year. I'm really sorry about that. Well done, Adrian.